Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Hunt Ready. We put out a little video here on the Beaver Drowner uh, system that I ran this year. Um, it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty basic set. Um, get you into beaver trapping real quick and pretty cost effective too. So, um, first off, we'll start with the uh, the main deal here, the trap. So the trap I chose was the MB750. Um, pretty, uh, pretty common, pretty well respected beaver trap. Nice big trap, four coil, um, really got some holding power. Um, if it was set off, there was a beaver waiting in there for it. I had front foot catches, rear foot catches, everything. Um, no issues there, no, zero complaints on my end from this trap. It's real heavy duty, uh, just a just a solid, really good, really good trap. Um, so this trap has been spray painted, uh, just with Rust Oleum spray paint, and then dipped in wax. Uh, I had another 750 that uh, kind of grew some legs and walked off on me on a on a piece of ground I was trapping on that was on a public river uh, so I'm assuming that's what happened anyhow but uh, it was just spray painted I didn't wax it I was gonna compare you know compare the two as far as like catch rates uh, it didn't uh, it didn't matter uh, basically I was just seeing you know how how rusty the traps would get and uh, most of this rust has came about from just sitting in a tote here after season waiting, but uh, held up really good. This is a waxed one, painted and waxed. So uh, worked out really nice on that end. But when you get the 750, <clears throat> it'll come with oh, about six inches of chain and two swivels. Um, I added about another 10 inches of chain or so to that and, uh, and an S hook and that is the S hook that I used to attach it to the, uh, the slide lock here. So if you guys uh, aren't aware of how these, uh, these drowner cables work, um, so there's a little slide lock on here uh, so when you set them up uh, you want the you want it pointing basically towards your your drowner that you've got underwater uh, it kind of makes an L so put it so it's pointed down and that way it'll slide freely down the cable down towards your drowner but when they try to come back up It'll, it'll catch it and pinch that cable and they can't come back up the cable. Um, so that's how you set these guys up. And uh, this is about a 10 foot, a 10 foot uh, cable and perfect uh, for me anyways, trapping in, uh, you know, cricks and stuff here on the farm. Uh, a pretty good sized river I trapped uh, later in the season. Still, the 10 foot cables worked out great. Um, so then you can see here I got the other end is just wire tied off on a, a half a cinder block here and you know this isn't something you're going to want to pack around in a pack basket or anything like that but I've got either my truck or my four wheeler so weight's really not an issue and we've got a ton of these just laying around so um, that's what I went with there and held, held beaver just fine, no, no issues. And the other end here, you see you've got, this is just one of my DP coon trap stakes. Uh, the stake itself is cut to 18 inches, and then I uh, got a washer welded on there that's about an inch down. And uh, that's what I use to stake the upper end up to the bank. So um, when you set these up, so this will be staked off up on top of the bank somewhere 
and then you just toss this down into the river or down into the water, what have you. And uh, I put that extra chain on the trap here so that you could bed this off. Kind of, you don't have to have it right up next to your stake. You can you can bed this off to the side quite a ways wherever you end up setting it. Um, get it away from that cable. Uh, that was just my own uh, my own thinking on that, just to get the cable kind of out of sight, you know, uh, so it ain't going right up the slide or, you know, what have you. And that's how I set these up. Um, I would pull a couple inches below the slide, the beaver slide, um, just kind of knock a shelf out with my boot, a flat spot, and uh, just set this trap right in the dirt, right in the mud down in there and get it bedded down in there. You want a couple inches or so um, of water, just so you got water covering the trap. Um, with the river, it was kind of up and down. I'm sure there was times where it was not underwater, and I had catches every night. So, um, you know, they say you want some water over the top of it. When I actually bedded it in, it did have water, but uh, you know, I didn't watch it all night to see. But um, these. Uh, <clears throat> So the, the traps and the uh, drowner cables here uh, all came from Iron Trail Trap Line. They, I ordered a half a dozen of these last year and two of the 750s. Uh, they'll come set up, you know, they'll come coiled up nice, they're 10 footers. They've got a, uh, a crimp, a crimp there on the end of the wire and then there's kind of a loose double crimp so that you can uh, you can adjust the size of your your loop there so it's adjustable loop and they'll come with the uh, slide locks already mounted on them this is how these guys are going to come they held up, they held up really good um, you know even if there's a little bit of a crimp in them your your drummer slide will still go down I'd say you probably want to you know, at the very least, double check your crimps before you put them out again. But you'd get a couple, easily a couple seasons out of these cables, no problem. Um, it held up really good, so uh, super, super uh, cost effective way to get into it, guys. And, um, you know, for trapping farm cricks and stuff like that, you, you just can't go wrong with it. Uh, I went with the cables just because in my eye it was a lot easier than trying to carry around, you know, 12 foot sections of rebar or uh, the, the fiberglass poles or whatever. Um, to each their own and all the methods work, but you just want to go with whatever one uh, works best for you. And for starting out, definitely these cables are, are a way to go. But, uh, Guys, if you're interested in any of these uh, materials here that we got, the slides or the, or the trap, check out irontrailtrapline.com. And uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Guys, don't forget to uh, you know hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave me a comment, anything. You know, it all helps the uh, the algorithm, I guess, as they say. But uh, appreciate you guys. We'll see y'all in the next one.